That's me building a tent out of 25,000 pieces of Lego. And tonight, I'm gonna be camping in it. This build took me over 80 hours, and let's just say I made myself quite sick from the amount of time this Lego tent took to make. To make this dream of mine come to life, I need to work out three major things. How many pieces of Lego this is actually going to take. Number two, how to actually structure the pieces of Lego so it makes a tent strong enough for me to be able to camp in overnight. And number three, I need to work out how long this is actually gonna take me to build. I basically designed this Lego tent build from a prototype I made in my bedroom, which was pretty fun. I then used that inspiration to design a real giant sized tent in 3D software called stud.io to give me the exact amount of bricks needed to build this tent. It also helped me decide the formation of the bricks to build in to give it the right amount of strength it needed. But this is the most fascinating part of preparing for this build. You guys are gonna love this. I was able to create my own official Lego instruction manual based on the design I made in stud.io. The instruction manual gave me step-by-step -step instructions to build this tent from the very first individual piece of Lego all the way to the very last piece of Lego I'm going to be placing at the end to finish off the build. I'm currently driving to the spot that I'm... Actually, that's better. I'm currently driving to the spot that I'm going to be spending the night in the Lego tent. This is like a childhood dream for me, guys. Like, I'm so excited right now. I used to build houses at Lego when I was a kid. And now look at me. I am Lego. Ah, this isn't even a half of the Lego as well. <laughs> There's the first batch. Find a suitable location to build and camp overnight using your Lego tent. Make sure you have a stable base to build your tent on. I literally have to bring the base to the part of the wood where I want to build this tent. There's nothing else to it other than finger blisters. Once situated, you are now ready to follow the instructions in the manual. Good luck, stay safe, yeah. Who puts yeah as step five? <laughs> step one, I'm gonna build that little four by four brick. Like that. This is basically the foundation to the entire build. That's 150 pieces. We have over 25,000. to build like 10,000 of those. I've just built a load of these. I'm now gonna show you how this is eventually gonna build a tent. This is gonna be so hard to explain, but I think, I think you guys are gonna understand. We put this one here. Next one, here. Next one, here. Next one. Now my camera's upside down. Jeez. To create a kind of slope that kind of builds up, we're gonna need to build up, but forward. It's actually quite rigid. Do you know what's really crazy? This part isn't even the build of the tent. This is just prepping my bricks. And I've been going for about four or five hours now. Can you see how dry my fingers are right now. They look like roast potatoes. I think we're gonna be running over into the second day trying to build this tent. So bear with me. I'm gonna get it done. I just wanna camp the night in this thing. Gonna have to put two days into building it. Good morning, everyone. It's a very gloomy day today. We got heavy rain overnight, which completely soaked this entire building area. All right, time to crack on with more of these blocks. The fact that I get to do this for a living is actually crazy. I'm just kind of like in my feels right now, like someone cue the Drake instrumental. Whoa. I just feel incredibly lucky to be able to do something that was a childhood dream. YouTubers are extremely lucky. We're nearly there. Nearly every single one of these blocks has been put together to build the Lego tent. There's so much damage done to my fingers. Oh man. I've got one row of Lego bricks here and one row of Lego bricks here. This now means I can start building another layer of basically what I've done here on top of this layer and again and again and again and again and again and again until we meet like here. If I glue along there like this and along there like that, then I can just get my Lego blocks 
that are pre-built and start stacking these on top of here. Without boring you, I'm gonna time lapse. This so far has taken us, I'd say about 16 hours. And if I didn't have Jack here helping me, this would take me another day. If this was a couple of years ago, I think I would have caved by now and been like, oh, should we just like blow it up and say, guys, something happened accidentally. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So this is taking way longer than I thought. I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish it off tonight. It gets dark in probably like an hour. And I don't think, we can do that in an hour. At least it's starting to look like a tent. You know what I'm saying? Like it actually is starting to take shape. It's just half of it's missing. <laughs> the tent is currently being supported by a camping chair. I cannot actually believe I've got this far with this build. The whole thing seems pretty strong but I'm not gonna lie, I'm still quite scared walking around like near it. One kind of adjustment in the ground underneath it, I'm scared it'll just tip. Tonight is the night that I get to finally camp out in it and survive the night in it. <sighs> that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> Look at how much detail's going on. I've actually built like little support beams. This takes the pressure off this falling forward, basically. The same with this pillar, the same with this pillar, and the same with this pillar. <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit. I know this sounds really silly, but I think this is one of like my proudest creations in a video. It was so heavy, it kept breaking. I persevered, five days, I ran myself down. I got cold sore, I got headaches, migraines. I'm just so happy that I persevered. I did my measurements perfectly. <laughs> I have shelter. I'm the happiest person in the world right now. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I don't think this is gonna be as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's not too uncomfortable. I think it's time to start a fire. That way we're gonna get hot water, we're gonna get food, and it'll keep me warm. Oh. Oh. I really need some firewood. Firewood would be so convenient right now to light a fire. Oh, what? Firewood? In packaging? This is too good to be true. Disclaimer, I didn't plant that there, by the way. Okay, so I don't want to start the fire too close to the tent because I don't want to wake up looking like Gorgon from small soldiers, you get me? This is real survival. You know why? Because I'm not using a lighter, guys. I'm using a flint and steel. The aim is to strike the flint and steel into the dry leaves. It'll start a small fire, then I'll gradually build up with these logs I conveniently found in the woods down there that I didn't place there. Bear Grylls, if you're watching this, my friend, I have nothing to say. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Thin pieces of wood, thin pieces of wood. There's I just had a fire going and then I doubted it with my spit. Stop! Help! I'm gonna have no light soon. This ain't good. Yes, leaves, leaves. Set fire, thank you, thank you. Stay calm, don't get emotional. Relax, stay calm, stay calm. Just keep adding leaves. On me, on me, on me. Two guys, two guys, keep adding leaves. We're in a good position. Keep adding leaves, don't drown the fire, don't drown the fire. On me, on me, on me. Don't burn the forest down, don't burn the forest down. I think I wanna burn the forest down. I think I wanna burn the forest down. Oh Lord Jesus. We have a fire. It's time for me to kind of start stacking this up in a controlled way. I do not want to burn this random ass forest there and I'm in the middle of nowhere and there's no fire engines getting out to me. I barely have signal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach like a wire between this tree and like a branch and I'm going to hang a pot down and I'm, I'm going to hope that this boils the water so I can make super noodles and chicken. That one there and this one here like this. So I guess I need to like,
Okay, we're not doing that. We're just gonna put the pan on top of this, but I wanna get the fire bigger first. This fire is actually keeping me quite warm though, I'm not gonna lie. That can go in there, like this. Oh my God. I'm gonna have no saucepan left after this, but I'm okay with that. I just want super noodles. I'm warm, I've got light. I've got a tent made out of Lego, shelter. What more could a man ask for? Probably 37,483 likes on this video. That would be very beautiful. I think my super noodles are gonna fall. Fall off the fire! No, God damn it, son of a b So I've got my fork. I'm gonna re pour some water on these because I just spilt some. That's much better than before. Oh man. I'm eating noodles tonight. It's confirmed, it's written in the stars. I've actually managed to make these with good technique as well. Like all the noodles are still intact, not broken up into little pieces. That's how you know somebody's a psychopath, okay? If they break their super noodles up into tiny pieces, they are psycho. Leave your noodles intact so you can suck them all up. If you want pieces, you have some rice. Ah! Yeah? Beautiful, beautiful noodles. I'm gonna get the um, powder in there now, the flavoring. The seasoning. Do I not have a tray? I'm oh, living in the wild dead yet. Super noodles, beef and chicken mixed together. Let's see. For some reason, even though the saucepan's kind of protecting the noodles, it tastes like fire. It tastes like a bonfire. If you guys are genuinely enjoying me building things for videos, by the way, I've been reading a lot of your comments recently and I'm like so appreciative of it. If you do like the DIY stuff, please do let me know by just giving this a like or if you want to type something out in the comment section down below, please go ahead because I've, I've read every single comment on my last couple of videos and it's been the most fulfilling thing I think I've ever felt. So my fire's nearly gone out and I don't want to light it again. So. I think it's time for bed. I need to run all the way over to you now and grab the camera that I've just placed about 150 feet away with a zoom lens on it. I hope you enjoyed that shot. The back door's dropped down and this is what you're looking out into. I am good, thank you very much. I do not want to be sleeping with my head exposed to that forest. Yep, you are going over there like that and you're covering my head from the boogeyman. Oh God, my knees from the studded floor of the base. It's like kneeling on glass, bro. How could I forget this bad boy? <laughs> what the hell, man? I think the Lego's like creaking, it must be weak. This is like my idea of a perfect night. I'm hearing all sorts of sounds, bro. I know I'm gonna go out there, yeah, there's gonna be a zigzagoon walking around, bro. You guys ready to guess what game I'm playing? Guess in the comments. I'm hanging my lantern from the ceiling, from this little hook I've got. Okay, I'm turning this off. This is bad content. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm in my element right now. I'm just happy. I want you to observe me being happy. Is that bad? That's selfish, isn't it? Should I cut my arm off for a clip? Oh God, look what I'm facing when I look at the end of the tent. That is horrific. Damn right I'm sleeping with my shoes on. Are you crazy leaving my toes hanging at the end of there? Shameless plug. There we go. Oh. I wish I bought a pillow. This is L's, man. <laughs> This is actually L's. I'm hoping that I get a full night's sleep and I think it's possible purely because of how tired and run down I am. I don't know if it's gonna happen because I've got Lego studs in my back, but let's give it a try. Good night. Yo. I'm hearing the maddest shit right now. coming from over that way. Bruh. This is horrible when you're by yourself, you know. Oh, fuck's sake, I've just dropped the fucking... I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that. No, 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 no. This ain't it by yourself, you know. I did not think about this part of the video. I did not think about how fucking scary this was. Was that sound? Oh my days. I know it was a bird, but when you're on edge like I am right now, any sound, yeah, is sketchy. I'm gonna try and get back to sleep. 
wish me luck. It's so cold. Do you know why I'm an idiot, guys? Because most YouTubers wouldn't even need to stay here the entire night if they weren't recording it. I could have, I could have just gone home and then came back and recorded in the morning. I kept waking up with pins and needles in my right arm because I was kind of using it to keep me comfy to stop my ribs being on the floor. And the sheet kept coming down in the night, so I kept pointing it back up and then it fell down. And I was actually like, you know what? It's not gonna stay up. So I just left the sheet off the back here. So there was a draft coming through the back and out the front. This has been a surreal experience. Building this tent was one of the hardest things I think I've ever had to do. I would absolutely love to see some of your feedback in the comment section on this video. I need to get home. I need to get home. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't do any more.